scarlet blaze. Heroic bloodlines. Through a new pact with the Leicester Alliance, Edelgard can direct her might at the kingdom. And though it comes at no small price, her forces steadily gain the upper hand. But the kingdom does not stand idly by. Dimitri rallies the Western lords, led by House Dominic, blood of one of the ten elites, in a last-ditch effort to forestall the Empire. No, brother. Anything but that. You cannot force the relic onto Annette. Calm yourself. I've nearly bade her wield it, not sent her rushing off into the teeth of the enemy. It's all right, Father. I know I'm the only one who can do this. Just seeing the crest of Dominic and our hero's relic is going to improve everyone's morale. It shames me to thrust this task on you, when it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Yes, I doubt we can expect Simon to return and wield the relic, considering how quickly he abandoned us. It seems I raised him poorly, yes. I should have taught him how our house managed to survive this long without starving or freezing. Don't look so sad, Uncle. I'll gladly carry the burden until Simon returns. But, Annette... Enough, Father! Stop worrying! After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So many people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. I'm not going to cower in safety while they struggle. Especially when I'm in the best position to help. Forgive me, Annette. If you sense any danger at all, child, promise me that you'll run. I couldn't bear to lose you. I know, Father. So let's just all do the best we can to keep our land safe. The nearer we get to Blathed territory, the more resistance we're likely to face. The lords surrounding the capital are the most loyal to the crown. We have Geraint, Enid, Brennius, and Bellinus. There is no telling whether these houses will choose subjection or destruction. Regardless, we cannot simply ignore them as we attempt to march on the capital. We must seize control of each of their lands and establish footholds before continuing on. The Alliance is still doing everything we expected of them. There are no changes on that front. So as long as we continue tightening the vice around the kingdom, we're certain to fulfill your majesty's goals. Glad to hear it about the Alliance. Does this mean the war will be over soon? I feel some actual motivation coming on! Well, in that case... Nope, nope, never mind, motivation gone. That was a close one, Bernadetta. You almost got yourself assigned to the front lines. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking stuff. We shall see who does more wrecking of stuff, Kaspar. I will not be letting you outshine me. Watch as I am bringing glory to Bridget and the Empire on the battlefield. I wonder if I'll find someone worth marrying before this war is over. Enough! It's easy to let your guard down when the end is in sight, and we can't fall victim to that. Stay disciplined, and together we will take Fulton's future in hand. Don't worry, Edelgard. We're ready to get this done. That goes doubly so for me. I must ready myself for the final clash that looms in the coming days. Right then. Let's start by taking care of the enemy in front of us. What's going on everybody? My name's Parth and welcome back from our Fire Emblem 3 Hopes. In the previous episode, we have finished Chapter 10, Rest in Peace to Captain Gerald. That shit was really sad, honestly. And not gonna lie, I am kind of heated. You wanna know why? So apparently... The chapter that we finished in the previous episode, which was chapter 10, 
that was the chapter that we had our chance to recruit both Kendall, aka Byleth, and Captain Gerald. But the outcome that I got was Parthena actually killing Captain Gerald. I was a little heated, and I found out about this information earlier today. And I recorded that episode last night. I was like, wow. So, I missed my opportunity to actually recruit Kendall, aka Byleth. So that really sucks. So what you guys saw in the beginning of this video was the dialogue cutscene of chapter 11. So I guess from here on out, what I'll be doing for each video is just show the dialogue cutscene of the beginning of each chapter. So I can at least do the side missions on my own time, you know, level up my characters, upgrade my upgrade my characters class, you know, get and also change their weapons and all that stuff, you know, and, and also get some more money that also involves leveling up my characters too, and also upgrade some facilities, like basically do some things on my own time, and then whenever it comes to recording the next episode, it'll just be like the Which main mission of each chapter to at least, you know, finish it up. So yeah, I did all the side missions literally today. I, I did most this morning before I went to work, and I... I did, I did all the side missions over and over just to you know get some more money to also level up my characters. I did that uh, earlier today when I got home from work, so I was like, you know what, let me just level up my characters and do like this side mission and this. I I only had like two side missions left, so I just did them all and I kept doing them over and over. So let's go ahead and start the main mission of chapter 11. Unexplored surveying spots. Oh, okay. Wait, I, I forgot to collect my rewards. Let's see what we got. We got... Oh, select a unit with... Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and give this to Dorothea. Survey failed because you have not fulfilled the required conditions. Oh. Okay. Wow, alright. A rusted axe or a rusted gauntlets? Ooh, let's get the gauntlets. Alright, so let me go ahead and collect this. Alright, now let's go. You know what? I'll... Eh, it, it's fine. I'll, let's just go ahead and... Start the main mission of chapter 11. Our recent battles have won nearly all of the kingdom's central and western lords to our side. Those who chose not to bend the knee are making their last stand in that castle. They are weary men unable to keep pace with the times. And now we can be rid of them all in but a single stroke. I honestly can't wait to play with the blue lions and the gold <laughs> and the golden deer route after I finish this playthrough of the Black Eagles route. I wish they'd consider all the poor souls they're forcing to perish along with them. I also upgraded Petra to the advanced class. I'm still working on getting her to the master class. It's just like I'm only I'm only able to buy three master seals to upgrade my characters to the master class. So it it only resets once I complete each chapter, if that makes sense. So once I finish chapter 11 and move on to chapter 12, I'll be able to buy another pair of three like well, another three it, master seals be because it's like limited it's like one of those like limited items i'm just gonna go ahead and shut up so, so y'all can listen most of the kingdom's castles are specifically designed to withstand a siege our only option is to chip away at them slowly from the surrounding forts i agree there is no place for mercy on the battlefield if the enemy desires a fight we will rend them asunder and leave their bones on the midden heap. We need to move carefully. A cornered foe is capable of anything. Okay, so... <clears throat> Sorry, I just, I just had to clear my throat. Boast how this will be an easy win or advise caution. You know what? Advise caution. We didn't come all this way just to die so close to our goal. That's right. There's no need to rush when victory is all but assured. It's time. All units to positions. Prepare to attack. Defeat Baron Dominique. Okay, Dominic. All right. The allied base is captured. Okay. Okay. Let's... We got this, all right? <clears throat> all right. So, what can we use our... 
resource points on or strategy points on because I was because I know in the previous episode I only used I didn't use like all three of my strategy points I only used it on two because I know I used one on you know persuading Yuri dude Yuri is a freaking badass you you guys will see Yuri in today's episode bro like holy crap okay so I was doing side missions earlier before I sat down to record this episode right now and so I had Parthena, Bernadetta, <laughs> I was also able to I was also able to uh, switch up some of the special attacks so be prepared for that I, I, I've, I've been I've been switching up on some things and I'm ready bro or well I'm ready and also my characters are ready to kick ass and be broken as fuck in each chapter or like each battle but holy crap yuri bro i'm y'all about to see yuri well, let me just let me just use my strategy points higher mercenaries relentless formation assign armored unit you know what? assign armored unit rally the reserves summon reserves to stop the enemy messengers yes do that too and then i think i want to Summon mercenaries to engage the enemy force. Reinforcements will deploy per per periodically. Jesus. Um. Honestly, I won't okay. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Honestly, just save them. So obviously, okay. We're gonna have Parthena. Okay. So I was actually using Constance and some of the other sorcerers like Constance, Happy. I'm I'm actually working on Happy right now to level her up and all that stuff. I think she's right here. Oh no, never mind. So happy is okay. Okay, good. You guys can see that. See that part. So happy is level. Let me show you guys. Everybody's in the 30s right now, except for one character. Everybody's in, yeah, Raphael, and yeah, everybody else is in the 30s. I've been I've been working hard, everybody. I've been working my ass off. <laughs> All right. So let me put out Yuri because y'all need to see this man. Sure All right, Yuri is amazing. Like holy crap, I fell in, I fell in love. Good lord. And Bernadetta, actually, you know what? We're gonna bring out. Where did I've used enough Shamir? Actually, you know we're gonna put Shamir as like a NPC kind of. Yeah, let me just go ahead and figure this out, and then by the time I come back, we'll be we'll be in battle. All right, we are here in battle. Okay, so obviously we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna have Parthena go to this fort, and then we're gonna have Petra. Yeah. I, oh yeah, so when I said that I got Petra upgraded to the advanced class, basically she is a sword master now. I know in the previous episode that she was just a, I believe, what was it, a, I, f I forgot what the class that I gave her in the previous the episode, spirit, but I, I know in the previous episode that she was in the intermediate class because this whole entire time I forgot to upgrade her because I was focusing on so many other characters because we have so many, you know, characters to choose from, it's just like, damn. Which one should I actually use, you know, to actually control and do all the badass fighting and stuff? Bro, oh yeah, oh, y'all about to see Yuri, so, yeah, we have everybody. Okay, so Edelgard, you help out Parthena. So let's go ahead and do this real quick, and then I'll switch over to Yuri. Okay, so I switched over to Yuri. Dude, okay, just, oh my god, bro, mm. Yuri is amazing, bro, he went crazy in all the side missions, bro. I was just using him non-stop in everything. Like, he's already upgraded to the Master Class, because, like, when we recruited him, he was already at level 37. So if you guys have watched the previous episode, when we recruited Yuri, as we finished up Chapter 10 in the previous episode, Yuri was already level 37, and he was already, you know, in the ma Master Class, and his class is the Trickster, but, bro, dude, Yuri is amazing. Okay, okay come on. Like... He's freaking amazing. I did not know that he would go this crazy in this game. I don't know how he's I don't know how he's like in Fire Emblem Three Houses because I know I mentioned a couple of times that I I still have yet to play the DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses, but good lord. I'm so glad that I finally got the chance to hear Kagi Films voice as Yuri. Like it caught me by surprise because I love Fire Emblem Three Houses and when they announced the DLC and when I saw Kagi Films post I believe it was on Instagram or on Twitter, but I, I know I saw it somewhere on, either on Instagram or Twitter that he will voice act as Yuri in the 
and the DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I'm like, yo, Kagi Films, <laughs> the D YouTuber that I watch all the time. I have I haven't watched him in a while, but I watch him here and there. Let's say that I watch him here and there when I get the chance, and it's just like, bro, Kagi Films. It's just so cool seeing like YouTubers just become voice actors. Like for example, I. I'm, I've, I've already talked about it before, and there's this one guy from Smosh, and he goes by the name Damien. Damien Haas? Has? Or Haas. But his first name is Damien, and, and he voice acts as the male version of Shez. Basically, basically the male version of Parthena, let's say that, because Shez is the real name instead of Parthena. But yeah, it, it's just so cool, you know? Like, you know, God, I, I love it. Alright, so, did we get some sort of opening or something? Oh wait, what's, I believe that's a side mission right there. Do we get access to the other forts? Question mark? Okay, so all the forts are seized. Oh lord. Oh, these are all the armor knights that I had Bernadetta and Shamir protect. So, okay, wait, well, let me figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, let's take out the Swordmaster, Swordmaster first. But, but I'm going to assume, okay, let's have Parthena and Edelgard go over here, take down these Fortress Knights, because I'm, I'm going to assume that once we take out those Fortress, uh, Fortress Knights, we'll be able to have access to, I guess, going past these these three right here, these little entrance entrances over here. I know we're going to encounter Kendall again. I know that for sure because we're gonna. I know we're gonna have like at least one or two final battles. Like at least I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna throw a, an assumption. We're gonna at least have two more battles with her. That's what I'm going to assume. So, oh god, if, if it means that we have to actually kill her because we killed Geralt, that's gonna be sad as hell, bro. But that would be cool, you know, if Kendall decides to come to her senses. Like, hey, like I know. Like I know, I know you killed my dad, but I don't want to. I don't want to sh uh, shed any more blood on the battlefield. Can we just join forces? That'd be amazing. But I highly doubt it because I've already looked up the information, and apparently, when when you are doing, when you are doing the Black Eagles route, right? Just this route, like the Black Eagles route that I'm doing right now. Black Eagles Route Chapter 10 is the only chapter that you can actually get the chance to recruit Bylath, aka well, Bylath, aka Kendall, and Captain Gerald. But that's Chapter 10 for the Black Eagles Route. I know in the Blue Lions Route it's different because you have to wait until Chapter 12 to recruit Bylath and Captain Gerald. Oh God. Okay. So, oh wait, where am I going? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So yeah, I have Bernadetta and Shamir protecting the Fortress Knights because I, I don't want them to die. Okay. So Petra, you go over here, and Ferdinand, you yeah, go go to where where all the homies are. Take a breather. Okay, so Gustav. All right. Well, it's a good thing that I it's a good thing that I showed the beginning, or it's a good thing I showed the dialogue cutscene of the beginning of this chapter, because you know you saw Gustav. Because I I had a feeling that we were gonna face him. Yeah, like I kid you not. <clears throat> it's a good thing that I came up with that idea to just record the dialogue cutscene of the uh, the dialogue cutscene cutscene. Of the beginning of chapter 11. It's a good thing that I came up with that idea because I was I was this I was so close to just saying you know what I'm just not gonna record that dialogue but seeing that happened at the beginning of this chapter. I was like you know what how about we just show it and then I'll just go ahead and do all the side missions on my own time because if you think okay think of it this way I don't mind sitting down and recording side missions over and over but the thing is though you guys aren't really missing much because the only time they ever show cutscenes for the side missions is like the first, the first, the first side mission or two, like the first or second, or the first two side missions, or maybe even just the first side mission that you do, 
of of the of each chapter, and then like they'll just show like a quick little cutscene or dialogue cutscene, and that's it. So you guys didn't really miss much, to be honest with you. So, all right, so let's go ahead and have Partina over here. All right, so I'm gonna have. Yeah, Yuri, you go over here. It's a good thing I show did a little showcase for Yuri because oh my god, dude, that man goes crazy with his combos, bro. All right, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna take care of at least three fours, and by the time I come back, we'll be back with Parthena taking care of this little fort right here. Okay, there we go, there we go. <clears throat> we took down all the Viscounts. I was just doing some side missions. There was like a side mission or two that popped up. And I was just like, you know what, let me take care of some, some, of, the, some of these forts like off screen. And also I had Yuri take down... Well, right now he's still fighting Count Duval. Alright, oh, Gustav. Oh, Gustav reappeared. Okay, okay. Bro, I want to show y'all a little wind sweep. Bro, Petra is amazing. Oh my god. Thank god. This is her upgraded as the advanced class. Right now she's a sword master in the advanced class. And then after that, I think in the master class that I'm going to upgrade her soon, uh, she will be upgraded to the mortal servant. That's That'll be the class that I'll be upgrading her to... In the, in the in the master class so master class mortal servant that's what she'll be upgraded to soon soon enough okay so let's figure out where we need to go okay so gustav is right there and yuri and edelgard are right there so we're gonna have those two take care of that because we had to take care of some sword masters because oh my god yo they're being jumped again holy crap all right well let's take care of that real quick it's Bernie's time to shine. Dude, I love the little the ZR button, like the, the little ability that she has to burn that up. I believe Ash no, I don't think Ash I don't think Ash has it either. But I know Bernadetta has it where they, once you step into the circle, they literally just freeze. Like, they just stop moving. Which is so cool. I love that so much. I love that a little I love that little ability. <clears throat> Every day is Bernie's Ber Bernie's time to shine. I love it. Okay, come on. The Swordmaster is almost down. We need to take out that shield so we can do our little special attack. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. We're having Yuri and Edelgard take care of Gustav for the second time. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Why'd you move? Don't move. Don't move. Come on. The allied base is at risk. What? Come on. We're taking care of all the Swordmasters. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so, we have this undercover. We have, we literally just have Shamir and Bernadetta taking, taking care of the, the fort right here. We don't need any, we don't need anybody else. We just need these two to take care of it. Okay, so, Parthena, go to where, I guess where everybody else is at, where Yuri and Edelgard. Alright, Petra, I guess we'll have you as a defender as well. We'll, we'll have you guard for a little bit until the time has come. Okay, Gustav. I want to oh, show you this move, bro. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. And oh yeah, that was the, that was the RX button. I wanted to change up the moves, the special moves for... Yuri, but I was like, ah, eh, they already look badass as it is. All right, so, ooh, let's, yeah, let's take a look at this. Just a little showcase for y'all. Okay, and then let's use my ZR button. Does a little warp or a little tornado right there too. Bro, Yuri is just amazing. Oh my god, ooh, does so much damage. All that slicing and dicing. Okay, well, Gustav is almost dead. Let's go ahead and do this. And Gustav is down and out. All right. Well, we took him down. Oh man, brother, your Majesty, your Majesty. I pray you deliver our kingdom to peace. Hey, I'm good. I'm going to assume you're talking talking about good old Dimitri because, uh, hey, buddy, 
we're gonna have a talk with Dimitri. We're gonna we're going to have him, you know, join join forces with us. Annette. Oh my God, Annette. I'm sorry. Dude, look at the weapon that she has. Holy crap. Alright. Well, hey, Annette, I'm so sorry that I have to do this to you. Okay, so... Okay, Annette's over... Wait, where, wait, where's Annette? Oh, Annette's right here. Okay, cool. Oh, she's right there. Okay, well, I guess... Hey, Annette, you're literally going to get jumped by four people, so... uh yeah, I think it's that time, you know. I'm, I'm so sorry I have to do this to you. Well, Gustav is dead. Jesus, man, we're literally just murdering everybody. Good lord. Okay, let's do, do the little tornado. Annette, I'm sorry, but you're just one You're just one person. I don't really know who else to expect. Because I knew that we were going to face Annette and Gustav. Judging by the dialogue cutscene that you saw in the beginning of the video. And yeah, okay, yeah, guarding's not gonna help. You're getting jumped by four people in that. Good lord. Okay. Let's go ahead and slice and dice. I believe I already talked about this in the previous episode, but now that I'm, you know, finished with Dark Pictures House of Ashes, I can just, you know, focus on finishing off this game. Because I got this game the day it released. I even pre-ordered it and everything. And this game came out like end of June. I felt like that I should have been done with this game. But then again, when college started and then uh, during July I had COVID. This that was during July. That was during like over the summer I had COVID. And then yeah, that happened. And then I was just focusing on just just other things too. I I was also you know going on some vacations too over the over the summer. So there's that. So we took down a net, quick and easy. Not you as well. How will I ever tell your mother that your daughter died? I'm so sorry, bro. Black Eagles route, man. I'm glad that I'm experiencing this because you know. Again, I've said this way too many times, I never got to experience the Black Eagles route in... Oh, who's this? Oh, it's just the knight. Alright, anyways. Oh, defeat Baron Dominic. Okay, well, let's just go over there. Oh, wait, do we just pass by him? Bro, he just passed by us, what the hell? Alright, well, I guess the... I guess what I can do is, before we transition to fighting Dominic, Baron Dominic, we're gonna take care of these last two forts, and then once I come back, I will face the final, the final boss in this chapter. Okay, all right, Baron Dominic, let's take care of you and finish some business, and go home and take a fat nap and go eat some food. All right, bro. There is so many great games coming out later this year. I'm, I'm actually really excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because there were some things that kind of like made me feel off about the game but i saw i saw some leaks and i'll be honest with you i haven't looked at all the leaks but because not gonna lie there's a lot of stuff to even like look at because it's it's all based off of this one twitter account that posts a lot of the leaks that's going to that's going to make its appearance in scarlet and violet and not gonna lie it did grab my interest i'm just really excited man and i can't wait to see you know what's going to happen well, not what's going to happen in the game but like i can't wait for all the pokemon to get it, to get it released or at least for the pokedex you know and i'm, I'm just excited dude and there's this thing that i there's this thing that i really want to do on the channel that i that i thought about uh that i actually thought about earlier today while i was at work and there's this thing that i want to do that i was actually doing a while back probably like back in like 2020 and I was still doing it, but I haven't done it in a while. Is play through all the regions, but here on the YouTube channel. And also, just do like ROM hacks. Because when I was doing, I believe, the Johto region, there's there's like this ROM hack called Pokemon Liquid Liquid Crystal. And it's basically like, you know, Gen 2. It's not like Harkle and Soul Silver kind of thing. You know, it, it'd be really cool to like play, you know, all the regions here on the channel. It doesn't have to be like a Nuzlocke or anything, because I remember mentioning it before that I don't want to do a Nuzlocke. 
But if it's like a monotype run where you just choose one typing and just kind of just do the whole entire challenge, or kind of just play throughout play throughout the whole entire game with the monotype run, monotype run as in like, let's say I choose a, let's say I choose fire type, I have to do the whole entire playthrough with just fire types. And yes, dual typings count. You know, fire fighting. As long as it's fire, as long as it's like a fire type, then that's fine. Ferdinand is nearly routed, but bro, he's like right here. Okay, okay, actually, ooh, let's switch over to Petra. Ooh, let's, let's, ooh, let's, let's end off Baron Dominic with Petra's ultimate. Let's go, baby! Like, let's say, okay, Pokemon Liquid Crystal is a ROM hack version of Pokemon Crystal. It's basically, Poke it's literally just Pokemon Crystal, but with, like, third-gen graphics. Like, it has the same graphics, just like Pokemon Emerald, Ruby Sapphire, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. And... I move on to Gen 1. I can just do Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I would do the Hoenn region, but you guys can go ahead and watch my Pokemon Ruby Salomon solo run. And I could do like 4th Gen, 5th Gen, 6th Gen, and all that stuff. That, that, that'd be amazing. forgive me my weakness, your majesty. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Gustav, Annette, and Baron Dominic. They deified him for being the descendant of a hero. This is so sad. Like, damn, bro. The Black Eagles are out. Why, why do you have to be so sad? Like, the previous chapter almost made me shed tears. He must have felt as though he had fulfilled his set purpose in life. That notion alone should tell you how warped the world has become. Still, right and wrong... Like, we had to choose to kill Captain war. Gerald. Oh my god, yo, my voice well is like... Sent, your Majesty. My voice. We must oh man. If we are to change the world. This war is only the first step. I get it now. I beg your pardon. Everything's finally clicked for me. I understand what we're really up against here. Oh? I told you before, I don't always get where you're coming from. Still, you trusted me, and that was enough. But what you said just then? It made me realize we're not fighting the church or the kingdom. I mean, we are, of course, but what we're really up against is the world itself. And even if we It's win, basically like us no against the world. All we can do is try our best and hope it works out. Sadly, we, we had to shed some around, blood honestly. on the battlefield, which is very I sad. I can't even begin to fathom how you can grapple with something that heavy. <laughs> Once again, you managed to find a most surprising nugget of philosophy. I knew you'd understand, even if I can't point to the reason why I felt that way. But I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. You obtained the item Crusher. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, so essentially we're still fighting, you know, the kingdoms and the church, but we're basically fighting the world. We're trying to, like, make things better. Like, make things right. That's what Edelgard is trying to say. Ah, man. Dude. This... I'm going to call it right now, I'm going to call it right now that we're going to experience another very sad cutscene, just like the cutscene where Partina had to kill Geralt. As, that almost made me cry, but what's next though? What's to come? Good lord, bro. Oh, we're basically done with chapter 11, but yeah, for the next episode you'll basically see the beginning dialogue, or the dialogue cutscene, uh, dialogue cutscene for chapter 12, like all that stuff just so I could do the side missions on my own time wow good lord man well I certainly can't uh, and oh hell yeah Yuri the MVP let's go baby that's what we like to see all right so we're gonna go ahead and just skip this I believe there's going to be another dialogue cutscene we got 20 we got 20,500 G's bro we got bank we're rich not really we need more than that. 
Imperial soldiers, the lands of Brennius now belong to us. As you know, Brennius shares a border with Blathid territory. The enemy's stronghold of Ferdiad is but a stone's throw away. At long last, we approach the final push of this campaign. Stay vigilant, but be not afraid. We shall wield our weapons as one, claim our victory, and unite all of Bodlin under our flag! Blathed land at last. The kingdom will be more desperate than ever now. You know what I just remembered? So, Ferdinand mentioned about his father. So are we going to have some sort of interaction? Either in chapter, I don't know, like 12 or 13 or... I don't know. Because that'd be crazy. Certainly not my idea of a fun afternoon. Still, we have no choice but to face them unless they decide to stop harboring the Archbishop. Do you think that's even a possibility? The people of the kingdom are quite devout after all. I highly doubt it. So let them huddle together like the cornered rats they are and... Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Urgent news, my lord. Massive revolts have broken out in Hrim and Ordelia territory. What? Uh-oh. Ask where Hrim is. Uh, Ooh. Where's Hrim again? Uh, <laughs> the eastern edge of the empire, north of Iyer, along Silly Parthena, you should know where that is. And Ordelia land is across the bank in Alliance territory. It's also where like unrest in both the empire and the Alliance. This can't be a coincidence. So, those who slither in the dark have finally made their move. This is it. This is our chance to figure out who or what those people really are. Does that mean we get to fight Kendall in the next chapter? Holy crap, let's go. Holy crap, are we, are we about to have like a final showdown against Kendall? Because uh, it honestly looks like that we'll have to kill Kendall because we missed our opportunity to recruit her in chapter 10. So now she's out for blood. She's going to try to kill me. All right, we'll kill Parthena. Oh, man. Things are getting crazy. All right, so thank you guys for watching today's episode of Fire Emblem Three Hopes. In the next episode, we'll be doing Chapter 12. I'm going to assume that we're going to be having some sort of final showdown with Kendall, or maybe that'll be later in the game. But without further ado, go ahead and smash that like button or 15 or more likes. And as always, guys, make sure to have a fantastic day.